what is in milk that is so good? It's not just calories, but there's antibodies. There are cytokines. There are all kinds of molecules that are in the milk that have healing properties. And now clinical trials have been done that has shown that you can actually cure AIDS with raw milk. When I read that, it, it blew my mind, and then I looked further. Why would milk be able to cure AIDS? Well, we came back from Kenya in 1991 with something called alpha interferon that cures AIDS. So when you look in the milk, guess what's in the milk? Alpha interferon. Not only alpha interferon, but beta interferon and gamma interferon. All the interferons are in there. Now they said that if you really want to increase the potency of the milk, to increase its healing power, uh, you let it sit at room temperature for four days after it's taken from the cow. You say, oh, that's, that's spoiled. No not spoiled. It's soured. Real milk, raw milk cannot spoil. It becomes fermented. They call it buttermilk. They call it yogurt. It's not spoiled. You're confusing it with pasteurized milk. You let pasteurized milk sit for four days. Yeah, it's spoiled and if you drink it, it'll make you sick. But you drink that fermented milk, that soured milk, and the level of interferon and other uh, health-promoting properties goes way up. I'm just trying to tell you something. Let me show you something where, that, that, that is the latest development. Now this is, I'm, a, I'm in an experimental stage now. But this is a product that is made from milk. You said, there you go, you promoting yourself, brother, on the rostrum. <laughs> Call it what you want. This has in it what are called infopeptides, which is just a component of the milk, especially the milk from a cow that has just given birth and is producing what is called colostrum. That early milk is called colostrum and it is very, very potent in its medicinal properties. So now what has been isolated from the colostrum are what are called infopeptides. These are small little proteins. Some are two amino acids, three amino acids, four amino acids, or five amino acids, and they are not biological in their properties. They are full of information. Information. Not chemistry, not biology. Let's say it another way. Full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that these infopeptides will lock on to the receptors in each cell in your body and turn that cell on. And say to that cell, you are off your post. Get back on. You are unbalanced. You are cancerous. You are functioning at a low level or too high a level. You're out of balance. 